Good morning, this is meteorologist Dave Jones with Storm Center Communications and Geo Collaborate. This is an all hazards consortium, sensitive information sharing environment, fleet response working group update on the tropics. They have become quite active over the last week or so, and we have numerous uh, activity going on. We're gonna be uh, breaking it down for you here quickly, just so you can see what the threats are to the coastal United States. Uh, we have one in particular that we're looking at. Uh, I don't have my video uh, capability today. I'm actually up in Booth Bay, Maine, where it's a uh, sunny day today, but actually uh, folks in coastal Maine will feel some of the impacts of Hurricane Fiona. You can see on this wide goes satellite picture, uh, this, uh, this animation, look at Fiona just coming out of the Turks and Caicos Islands. It's a major category three hurricane with winds of 130 miles per hour, and it is increasing in intensity to 140 miles per hour. That's the forecast from the National Hurricane Center over the next 12 hours or so as it uh, makes a beeline to the west of Bermuda. Looks like it's going to kick up some serious waves at, in Bermuda, and they could experience tropical storm and perhaps, perhaps hurricane force winds over the next couple of days. I'm going to change the sector here and just show you what it looks like uh, on Fiona uh, for the mesoscale sector. This is a mesoscale sandwich product. Uh, we're uh, combining multiple wavelengths from the satellite here. You can see those oranges and reds around the eye of the storm. This is a one hour animation with imagery every single minute from this uh, satellite and it's spectacular. You can see all of those thunderstorms, the red and oranges, they are very strong thunderstorms wrapping around the center of the storm and also expanding outward in those spiral bands. Waves have been detected up to 40 to 45 feet in that area of the ocean. Those high waves aren't making it all the way to the United States at that size, but Coastal areas from Florida all the way up to New England uh, will experience some rip currents and strong waves over the next several days. So please use caution if you're heading out there. Uh, this is also a reminder that this is a phase zero update, a phase zero update as part of the uh, All Hazards Consortium Sensitive Information Sharing Environment playbook. This is a playbook that's evolved over the last year or two. And uh, phase zero means we're monitoring uh, and planning stages from seven days out to four days out. There's a tropical system that we're watching that could impact the United States in a, a bit more than seven days. I'm going to talk about that here uh, now. Uh, we're going to go to Geo Collaborate, and I'll show you this. First of all, I started out really wide. Look at all the activity. We have a tropical wave on the west coast of Africa that's expected to develop into a tropical system, but to move north as soon as it gets off the coast of Africa. We have one in the central Atlantic that has the potential of developing. We're watching that one very closely. And we're also watching that red X there in the lower left-hand portion of your screen where there's a tropical wave that has a high probability of developing into perhaps a tropical depression and a tropical storm over the next two to five days. This is the one that we'll be talking about here in just a moment. You see also just above that red X, Hurricane Fiona. You see the path that it came off of Africa and then developed into a tropical storm, impacted devastating impacts to Puerto Rico with some areas receiving more than 20 inches of rain uh, over a three day period, creating lots of mudslides, landslides, and a lot of power is out across the island. Fiona is now making its way towards the north, will curve towards Bermuda, likely pass to the west of the island, but still generating high waves and perhaps hurricane force wind gusts in Bermuda. We'll be uh, watching that as, as uh, Fiona gets closer to the island. But notice how it takes another curve up towards uh, eastern Canada. So it may impact eastern Canada and therefore create quite a few large swells over multiple tidal periods across the mid-Atlantic and northeast coasts as well when Fiona gets up there, even as a Category 3 and then a Category 2 hurricane before it transitions into the extratropical 
uh, portion. So now I'm going to focus in on this uh, particular wave that we're watching very closely. Uh, this wave, uh, which is now moving to the west, is expected to develop, has a high probability of developing, 90% chance over the next five days into a tropical system. So we have Fiona and we have Gaston that's uh, up in the uh, northern Atlantic. And so uh, this system would be the H uh, storm. Uh, but we're watching this closely because we want to uh, prepare the members of the All Hazards Consortium for potential activity as this system moves into the Caribbean and perhaps takes a curve up towards the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, if it does that, we'll be giving very frequent updates. Right now, we're just gonna do periodic updates. Again, this is a phase zero. All Hazards Consortium Sensitive Information Sharing Environment update on the tropics. We're watching very closely this tropical wave that's going to be entering into the Caribbean Sea and uh, perhaps, perhaps uh, curving up towards the Gulf of Mexico. Again, we're more than seven days away, but we're just giving you a heads up. Uh, meteorologist Dave Jones with Storm Center Communications and Geo Collaborate will keep you posted. And that's it from Booth Bay, Maine. Uh, I'll be back uh, in the office uh, by the weekend. And if another update is warranted, we'll be doing it from on the road. Thanks so much for watching.